What's up guys? Thanks for tuning in for another week's tutorial for beginners by your boy Nino. And today we're going to be talking about in this short tutorial, I'm going to try to keep it short. I know my other videos before in the past have been 10 to 12 minutes long. I don't want to do that right now, so I'm trying to bring it to you guys as quick as possible, but with the information that you guys need. And hopefully I can present that to you guys. I am not a expert expert on this stuff, but I have been studying Wix for the past few years now and it's pretty cool what they have done since 2017. Uh, yeah, so let's get started with this tutorial on light boxes. Wix light boxes, they are used to get your visitors attention and encourage them to take action. That means whether they have to click on it, whether they have to just view it, whether it's a promotion, a video, uh, some type of text, your uh, different types of text that might lead to your privacy notices saying that you guys are collecting cookies or something like that. Anything like that, you can put on a light box. And these light boxes are so great to use. I just, I can't believe it, but it's really great to use. So let's just get right into it, okay? So today we're gonna talk about light boxes and you're gonna go over here to add button. Now this is the way that you add the light box to your site. So you can come here, scroll all the way down to light box, okay? In here, you guys already have templates set up for you from Wix. They have a welcoming screen, a subscribing screen, a promotional screens, or a contact screen if you want people to quickly contact you as soon as they get to some type of page onto your website. So these are already in stock and very creative ones that they have made. Uh, I think they're very useful to start off with. And yeah, this, that's just it. Um, you can also get to a light box from your menu and pages. Just go to light boxes right here. I already have one set up right now for us, but if not, then you can go down here to add light box. And now I'll add a light box and take you right back to that add section right there where you were before. And if you want to quickly access it while you're on just your page, you can go to this navigation pan right here come all the way down to you see light boxes and you click that light box. So I'm going to create a new light box cause that's just what I want to do. So I'm going to go to light boxes. I'm going to create an add light box. It's going to take me back to that section. And let's see, I'm going to do a subscribers light box right here. So in the subscriber light box, you have this overlay effect right here, which you know you can click anywhere on this to edit. This is mainly for just showing people that, hey, you're on another screen, okay? And so this overlay will show on your page as well, on your website, and you can make it so that people can click out of the overlay background and actually click off of the light box itself, or you can make it non-clickable. So that's right here. Clicking to close the light box, it's checked right now. So that means if anybody clicks in this overlay background, they will exit the light box. Okay, in order to get to your light box, you gotta click inside here, and then you're right smack into your light box. Now, here we're gonna go over the managing of light boxes, setting the triggers, looking more at the settings and the layouts and as well as the design. Now the animated is pretty much simple across the whole board. Their animations are the same and I will talk a little bit with, about animations in another YouTube tutorial uh, just based on animations and what you guys can do with those. So stay tuned for that. But then you have your Notorious Wix help, which this helps you if you don't know anything about the light boxes, it will guide you through it successfully. But since you guys are here at my video, then I think that I can explain it to you guys the best way possible. 
So let's go ahead and get started. We can go to manage light box. That takes you right back to the light boxes menu. Okay, so that you can go through all of your light boxes if you have them here. So it's just a quicker way to get an access to all of your other light boxes. Right here, this is where you click to exit the mode. I uh, just wanted to go over that before I jumped into anything else. Uh, this is where you set the triggers, okay? It says it right there itself. You guys can sit here and automatically display it. Uh, click yes. So that means that when somebody comes to a page, whichever one you pick, it will automatically pop up onto that screen. And I think I like this feature because then it gives your uh, visitors something to look at and interact with when they come onto maybe your contact page or maybe a page that you're trying to promote things uh, and other stuff like that. So I'm gonna click no for now. These are the X icons and the close button that they use that's right here at the top right here. And if you wanna toggle that off, it will prompt you to say, hey, you need to have something to close out the light box or one of your buttons on here can do that same thing also. But it's best to have this X icon so that your visitor won't get stuck on your light box so that they can enjoy and view more of your website that you guys have out there. If you wanna rename the whole light box, you can come here and just click inside here and rename it uh, top subscriber. I'm just gonna put it backwards. All right. Okay, this thing is messing around with me. Okay, top subscriber. Let's go. All right, so we can exit out of here. We can go to our settings here, and that is basically the same thing that we just did. Uh, yeah, so set triggers and settings are mainly the same button. If you wanna go to layouts, you can create this layout for top and bottom, um, as well as when you touch up on other light boxes that are not just straight across, you can actually choose for it to be in the middle, the top left corner, the bottom right corner, stuff like that. You can be more flexible with that with the square light box, okay? You go here to design. This is giving you access to the light box background. You can set it up as a video here. You can set it as an image. Just get creative with what you want to display to your visitors. I think that's the best way to put it, all right? And so, boom, we have that here. We have the animations, like I said, and then the tutorials we tell. So that's basically it right now. So that is about it, guys. And I want you guys to have fun with this. That's how you make a light box right there on the screen. Um, if you guys have any more questions, drop it below in the comments. Definitely give it a shot and let me know how you created your light boxes and definitely show me some pictures if you want about all of your light boxes that creatively you have done uh but thank you so much for watching if you like this video hit that like button for me please and subscribe if you aren't already i will see you in the next video thanks very much ciao